Right guys, I can hardly believe it. We're almost in the top 10. It's number 12 on the top 100 players in the NFL for 2020. It's Drew Brees. He's dropped 10 places from last year, but he's still in the top 15. And for that, I have to give the man credit. He's 40 years of age. He's basically Tom Brady the second, just a little bit shorter and probably a little bit faster. But with that being said, let's get into it, guys. I've done reactions on Drew Brees before. I'll do them again. I don't have any Saints gear, like I said, but I'm doing my best. Let's go. Yeah, a lot of people in this world want to be great. We're about 40 minutes now after a walkthrough, and it's only one man out here on this field. Only one man. This is what greatness looks like right here, man. Ain't no shortcuts in this world. Cheers, Reggie. Thanks, Reg. Appreciate that. What makes Drew Brees so great is it's no secret. He puts in the work, he puts in the time, he puts in the dedication. He puts in the detail! Drew, did you consciously kind of shorten your motion? Like, when I remember you at Purdue, it was like this. Yeah, I was a bit longer. At some point, I widened my base. Yeah, I see that too. And so now I short, it's a shorter stride. So I feel like the ball is coming out faster. Drew Brees, I mean, he's one of the best ever. Dangerous. Uh, what was the one game he had like 29 for 30? Just, I mean. He finishes this game 29 of 30 for 307 yards, four touchdowns. That will break. The one thing that comes to mind when I hear about a quarterback having a really fantastic performance like that, very, very accurate. I remember Gardner Minshew's first game for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was on, I think, 9 from 9, possibly 10 from 10. Maybe even 12 from 12 until he actually missed a pass. And he was setting the record pass after pass. For the best completion rate in the first game for an NFL rookie quarterback ever. That's Gardner Minshew. I want to, I want to check that actually. Now, Minshew's got a, a long way to go until he's held in the same regard as Drew Brees, let alone on the top 100 list. But if we just have a quick look at his Wikipedia, he's only 24 years of age. And if we have a look at his first, here we go, here we go. Minshew made his NFL debut against the Chiefs when starter Nick Foles was taken out of the game due to a shoulder injury, which occurred on the same play that he threw a 50-yard bomb touchdown. That was just bad luck. He came on the field and he completed 22 of 25 passes for 275 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. Minshew's pass completion percentage of 88% is the highest of any player making his debut in NFL history with at least 15 pass attempts. And also the highest single game pass completion percentage in Jaguars history. So I feel like he finished with 22 of 25 but I think he might have got to like 12 of 12 which was absolutely incredible. I was watching that game live and it just seemed as though he was just going from strength to strength. He became a cult hero in one game but then he came back the next week and he actually continued his form and the week after, and the week after that. I'm not saying the Jaguars actually won games, but as far as their quarterback performance, having lost their massive signing, Nick Foles, he did well. But this is about Drew Brees. All-time NFL completion percentage Oof. record for a single game. He gets it done. If the ball needs to be put between two safeties at a certain angle. Hang on. NFL best quarterback percentage rating in a game. A uh, list of quarterbacks who've posted a perfect passer rating. To qualify during a single game, a quarterback must att attempt at least 10 passes, have zero interceptions, have a minimum completion percentage of 77.5%. Blah, 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 blah. So that's how they work out the passer rating. A lot of different things. What are we gonna do here? Uh, Oh, NDL, no. NFL, best passing percentage in NFL game. Here we go. Fuck, I'm good. All right, Drew Brees hit 96.7% in that game. New Orleans Saints versus the Indianapolis Colts, December 16th, 2019. Philip Rivers, 96.6% in 2018. Marcus Mariota, 95.7% in 2018. And Gardner Minshew the second, would you believe, 95% in one of the first games of this year, the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Colts. Interesting. Angle, 
he'll put it there. Breeze drops back, looks to throw far side. Caught! I don't know if he can throw a football better than that. He's not even close to being open. He's not open at all. I'm not even talking about close to being open. He's not open at all. Yeah, why would you actually throw that ball? Did he honestly expect his receiver to go out and get that? Because that's a... That's asking a lot. Him to do year in year out is nothing short of amazing. You know, he had a thumb injury, and you figured that would sideline him for longer than what he did. He came back ASAP, and it's back to routine as usual. Scroll that. Even after missing five games with a thumb injury, Drew Brees was still the most accurate passer in the NFL with a 74.3% completion rate. He is far and away the most accurate quarterback in NFL history. The magician? You make it happen. You make it happen, baby. Yeah. Bro, I'm sorry, but I just saw that you play for the Colts, and you are the team that he got that record against. But let's hear what you think about him. Yeah, you make it happen. Hmm. Make checks, read the defense well, he don't force any passes. Freeze backs out, six seconds on the play clock. He's gonna change the routes out to the receivers. Takes a snap. Go Cook. 25, block it upfield, 10, 5, touchdown, Jared Cook. We actually heard Cook's commentary on that block that was made in front of him by Kamara on Kamara's video. It's all coming back to me. He made that call at the line of scrimmage. It's a tight set Kenny Vaccaro to the middle. And Alvin Kamara is lining up as a receiver. Look at it. Go. First down, Hall of Famer. There's nothing left to be said, man. Best passing yard, passing TDs. 540 touchdowns. Drew Brees take a bow. And he passes Peyton Manning for the top spot all time. Also, let this serve as the congratulations for the touchdown record, because as you can see, I'm very busy. I don't have time to keep doing these videos for you, congratulating you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, I've got to have a, I've got to have a deep dive on, um, on Peyton Manning. I really do. It's got to happen. But I tell you what, I'm excited for this one. It's number 11, and believe it or not, he plays number 11 on the field too, doesn't he? He's not Larry Fitzgerald. But he is Julio Jones. He plays for the Falcons, not the Cardinals. Although I do get the Falcons and the Cardinals mixed up still. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was my look at, at Drew Brees. Um, the video's probably gone about 20, well, 15 to 20 minutes. I, I start each of these videos thinking I'll get through it in five minutes. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. And it certainly doesn't happen when we get to the top 10. And we're almost there. Thanks for watching once again. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The time officially is 9.58 a.m on Thursday the 24th of December and I want to say thanks for being here your presence is appreciated more than you know so are your comments so are your likes so are your subscriptions you are the fuel to my YouTube fire and with that I will say goodnight <laughs>